Hello? Hi. Anyone hear me? Hello? All right. Nice. Nice. That's great. All right. Welcome, guys. Hello. Welcome to my first uh, YouTube live stream, like, ever in my life. <laughs> um, we're just going to give out a few minutes, maybe five or ten, to uh, have more people, of course. Uh, but for now, uh, can you guys, I don't know, post the flag or uh, where are you guys from? Okay, I'm seeing that the number is rising. That's a good sign. Well, first and foremost, I just would like to really thank you guys for being here. Okay, seeing there's uh, Ohio. That's great. Indiana. That's awesome. Kenya. Holy crap. Okay. Wow. That is so nice. But yeah, it's like I was saying before, I would really like to thank you guys for being here, taking the time to watch this live stream. Um, as the subject that we're going to uh, touch today is pretty much motion capture. Uh, more specifically, uh, facial capture. Um, how it is that it works in uh, such softwares like uh, Unity 3D in this case. Uh, as you guys may know, and for those who don't, well, here goes, that Facewear is a uh, company uh, in charge of delivering uh, realistic performances to animations, uh, motion, films, um, game development, of course. And right now, what we're going to go through, uh, we're going to go through the, uh, the setup, the overall setup of how to bring your characters to the uh, to Unity, uh, how to prepare your character, of course, and uh, I can show you guys a real-time performance using the uh, facewear tech, the equipment, of course. Okay. Very well. Okay, so we're just gonna wait one five. Okay. All right then. Well, I say we should uh, give it a go. Of course. So what you are guys uh, seeing here is the uh, my desktop, and I'm going to fire up Unity. So you guys can see. Let me just uh, remove the tripod here. There, over there. There you go. Okay, good. Oh, let's start then. Very well. Okay. So, currently, I have a new project going on. Uh, I guess we're going to do a demonstration section first, and uh, when we finish, when I finish, uh, we can do a Q&A 
questions. Uh, so write down your questions. If you, if you guys have any doubts, uh, we can see them at the ending of this demonstration. Uh, I just want to check with you. Uh, can you guys hear me? Can you uh, see the image? Uh, has a good quality. Well, I'm going to just go ahead and dive in. So, what we have here, I'm going to show you guys the equipment. Uh, I have with me the facewear uh, equipment. The helmet is in charge of giving a facial performance. So, what we have here is a uh, GoPro cam. Is going to be in charge of recording your face and uh, communicating as well with uh, Unity. I'm going to show you guys as well uh, two softwares of Facewear. Um, the first that they started with is called Live Server, and then they evolved to an upgrade, uh, Facewear Studio, which gives uh, a lot of a sharper uh, performance in your character. So. We're going to begin by opening the, uh, the project, of course. Right here. I'm currently using the uh, Unity 2019.2. Uh, this guy right here, this handsome guy, is called Victor. Uh, he is uh, free on the Facebook page. You guys go ahead, download it, explore it on your own. And uh, I'm going to explain to you um, how to download Faceware. Usually, Faceware, the package, is for free in the Unity Asset Store. You just have to go to the Asset Store, like so, and, you know, type Faceware. Uh, when you download the package, this guy is going to come by default. Um, and there's a few uh, things that we need to do to prepare for it. Thankfully, with Victor, he has already the, um, the tools to set up for a real-time performance. And, and in order to do uh, or to set up your model, uh, right now my model is formed by joints and blend shapes. And I'm going to go to my top menu once your Facebook package is already installed and ready to use. You would go to uh, Tools, of course. All right, that's great. Um, I'm going to go to Faceware and Character Setup. Now, this menu is going to have the tools necessary for us to, um, well, teach uh, Faceware uh, how to set up your character for your live performance. So I'm just going to put him here, right here, somewhere comfortable for me. And we got ourselves the uh, package. This pretty much is the profile. You need to create a profile within Unity so you can do a, a real-time performance. And as you guys can see here is pretty much all the controls that Faceware is using right now. And the expression sets that are already built in. Um, so now that this is pretty much uh, done, uh, you should be able to do your real-time performance. Um, there are a few things that we need to do first before doing that. Uh, your character must have a the uh, live client script. The, it already comes with the package, um, and we are going to do the. Um, the um, I'm going to show you guys the first uh, software of Facebook, which is called Facebook Live. Okay. 
Okay. And I'm going to just make sure that I'm going to put this side by side so you guys can see. After this, we can go, we're going to go through a whole new setup. We're going to start from scratch using a new model. A very, very special guest, of course. So we're going to put this guy left and then put this guy on the right. Okay. And that's true. Uh, yes, please. Okay. So, live server. I'm going to again, I'm going to go ahead and start on my camera. Um, here. All right. We should start to look on the visuals of this. I think you guys can see all the recordings of all the trials that I did, all the experiments. I'm going to go here. There you go. Okay. So, I'm going to put uh, the image of my helmet. Now, backwards, but I'm going to rotate it. There you go. So you guys can see uh, the system of live server is already putting the markers required for a FaceTime performance. Uh, right now there's a little glitch. Um, one thing that we should have in mind on doing a uh, faceware uh, real-time performance is the frame rate of this camera. And also as well, the light. The light is going to give these markers a huge help on tracking your camera. That and also as well, the angle of the camera. Uh, maybe I just need to maybe move a bit the camera. That's good. All right. Seems like it has a bit of issues on tracking my lips. So, now that you're here, uh, I should go ahead and do the calibrate neutral pose. So, I'm going to go here and neutral. All right. Um, we can see here on the lower part. Uh, that the calibration is complete, so we should be able to do a, a live performance. We have to make sure that the port and this icon, well, this icon is firstly enabled, and this port is the same in Unity. I'm just going to go ahead and double check in my Unity project. We are seeing here on the component of the live client that has the live server port, uh, which is 500. 
Uh, it comes by default with a different number, but it's just as simple as typing the right uh, port number. And you got the host name. By default, you guys get this uh, local host uh, name. Um, it works in some cases in some computers, but in my experience, it did not work. But uh, this uh, this address pretty much does the trick for the live performance. Uh, now that it's here, I can just go ahead and close this and go into the play mode right there. And there you go. So you guys can see that um, you can see the performance going on right now. And I'm actually surprised that it's, uh, it's doing actually really, really good work. Uh, if I wouldn't, if I wouldn't calibrate it. I would have uh, have issues with the markers, would have uh, issues tracking my lips and everything. Uh, but yeah, it's actually doing a good job. And if I happen to move my light, the markers seem to be affecting. So it's, it's very important that the, the light in a certain uh, manner so it can work uh, as well. Okay, so that's good. What we're going to do now is I'm going to show you guys pretty much um, how it is we get to set this whole thing up from scratch without using Victor, though, because he already's got some things going on, and we're going to use a new model and the brand new software that Facebook Studio, that, that Facebook is offering, which is Facebook uh, Studio, of course. Uh, I'm just going to hit stop here. And... I'm going to go exit my full screen on the game. Not. There you go. Okay. Oh, no. Go back. Okay. Just going to remove my camera so you guys can see my face. Not yet, anyway. All right. It's off. Okay, cool. And we're going to go ahead and close down the live server. We don't need anymore. We are going to go to my um, uh, faceware or uh, scenes. She's the sample scene right now. Ah, I make this. Put the helmet back to. <laughs> in its place, and we're going to go to sample scene. Okay, so, uh, as you guys are looking here right now, I'm using uh, a model, pretty much my visual replicant uh, going on. We've got uh, some light going on, some center sheen, post-processing, uh, and now what we're going to go through is the setup of everything. Um, I think I missed the detail, but in, in phase where, of course, you can use your model, whether it's built uh, with uh, joints or uh, blend shapes. Um, right now, my model comes from Character Creator 3. Uh, it's got this amazing tool, really helpful of uh, prototyping uh, fast uh, 3D models. And it's got this wonderful tool of the uh, camera AI, which is pretty much taking a selfie uh, and with a good lighting, of course. And the system will do the heavy lifting on you on putting the camera, um, well, putting your face on the model and try to make it look as legit as possible, of course. Uh, yeah, so we are going to go here. Uh, to my game prefab. No, well, I mean my game object, sorry. And uh, I'm going to go to my tools. Face where? Character setup. 
Okay. I think we put them here as well. Okay. So, we got them here. Um, in order to find uh, the, the blend shapes of your character, the character creator gives you this uh, wonderful um, helping hand that every single uh, model has its own blend shapes, of course. Um, so I got my model, of course, and I'm going to go and hit the uh, CC base body merge. And if I go to my inspector, all of this, all of this are the blend shapes that are integrated into the model, of course. Uh, if I go ahead and manipulate every single one of them, you guys can see uh, the little changes that you can do. You know, this is nice. So it's not a nice smile going on there. Um, but yeah, okay. So we've got the blend shapes, uh, but also our character it needs uh, it's moved by joints. So what are we gonna do? Is pretty much gonna go to our character setup, which is the face uh, web. Okay, and this is what we're gonna do. So I'm going to go to the first step, which is creating the profile for it. I already made one for the experiment, but I'm going to, for the sake of demonstration, I'm going to show you guys how to set everything up, of course. So I'm going to hit on new, okay, and I'm just going to hit alloc1, which is me, alloc1, oh, one, there we go. Okay. Uh, Unity is going to ask you where to save this profile. I just want to save it on the assets folder. Save. Okay. And now we got ourselves the profile. We got ourselves the expression set going on. Uh, I'm going to do uh, some expression sets. It's very quick. I've gone through this, so it's going to go very quick. Um, okay. So, what are we going to do is, I'm going to go to our step one. We're going to click on our character. The difference between using Alec here and using Victor, uh, the easy part about using Victor is that you're just dealing with a head going on. But what if you're actually dealing with a full leg, uh, you know, a full flesh character? What what do you have to do? Um, well, what we're gonna do is pretty much you cannot just go and like hit the entire uh, skeleton system. What I would use um, is the um, the eye rotations and the jaw, but uh, face where it doesn't really accept that. Uh, so instead of doing that, I'm going to just hit the entirety of my game object. Once it's selected, I'm going to go and hit get controls from selected objects. Okay, there you go. So uh, right now, what's going on is, uh, is pretty much every single uh, game object in the hierarchy of Alec is being uh, in, in the menu, of course. But I'm just going to select the ones that I need. So if I go ahead and I see that I the blend shapes begin pretty much here. So I'm just going to go ahead and select them. Each blend shape for it. And I guess one thing I can tell you guys, uh, if you're planning to put your character on a uh, on Unity, it's just to make sure that in your rigging phase, uh, you know, when you're actually rigging the card phase, just make sure that you are actually covering the expression set that phase will need. 
or also using joints. And it's, uh, it's the same thing. So when you come into this uh, part of the, um, the process, you know exactly what blend shapes to use or what joints to use in order to make it work for you. Pretty much every single game object of the base body. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, we're done. Uh, so now I'm going to go and look for the rotations of the eyes and the jaws, of course. Cow, foot, index, pinky, toe, spine. Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, so we got the uh, head rotation. Oh no, it's the jaw. Okay, the jaw. I'm gonna need the draw rotation. I just need uh, the jaw so we can rotate, not the position. If not, I'm going to <laughs> deform my little desk here. Um, the rotations of the left eye and the right eye. Once there, I can go ahead and add controls. Now, all of the um, all of the game objects that I was picking passed on to the added controllers. Now we should be able to do the, um, the, the expression set, of course. Um, so I'm going to go through neutral, which is the first one. No expression, of course. Um, if we just go and save the post. I will go right now with the eyes, base, left eye. Instead of searching for the entire the eye on the hierarchy, I can just type it there. And I go here. Kind of funny. Our friend. Okay. So from the left. Save pose. Uh, Faceware, of course, has this um, uh, this little uh, option here which is reset your character to neutral, which pretty much go back to the first expression set. Uh, for demonstration purposes, because <laughs> I've already done it, and uh, it kind of deforms your character, and I don't want you guys to see that. It's, it's horrible. It's, it's tough nightmares. So one thing I can do is go ahead, and I can go to my first uh, expression set and go hit show save goes back to normal. And now I can go ahead and do the uh, There we go. Show save. Also this guy here. There you go. Hit save the post. Show save. And now I'm going to hit both of them, let's see. Up. Save pose. Show save. Okay. Now I'm going to go down. Alright. Save pose. Okay. Uh, show save. Okay. And blink. This is the part where we now enter into the blend shapes of this. Okay, so we're going to go to our body merge. And I'm going to put my inspector right here. Hmm. A lot of uh, blend shapes going on. So what we're gonna do is asking us for the left one right there. Now that it's there, I can go save the post. Blink right. Save the post. 
I white left, which is this one. Okay, it's right there. Uh, saving it. I white right, see the post. Okay. Uh, bu -bu 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 eyebrow up. Okay, so it's this one. So, there you go. Raise right there, eyebrow up. Save the post. Like it's a that. Oh, maybe there's a little. Okay, it seems like you made a little mistake going on, but it can be quickly fixed, of course. Uh, it seems like the eyebrow up. I'm gonna go left, so I'm gonna go to my left eyebrow. Get a hundred. Okay. So now it's there, I can just go and my eyebrow up left and update my post. You know, it's going to ask you, do you want to avoid this post? I said, yes, of course. Good. Okay, I can just move on quickly. And I'm going to go to my right eyebrow. Right there. And I'm going to say post. Okay, and brow drop out, eyebrow, eyebrow down. Uh, okay. I think it's the one. Uh, eyebrow down. Right. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> brow drop. It's this one. Right down, left, save post. Back. Drop right. Hmm? Save post. Okay. Eyebrow. This eyebrow up center. Well, uh, okay, since, okay, in this one, in this situation, uh, it's asking you to do the eyebrow up center. So pretty much it's asking for both of your brows to, to go up. Unfortunately, there is no blend shape that can cover that. But you don't, you're not obligated to um, use a blend shape for that. You can use more than one, of course. So I'm just gonna go here. It's uh, eyebrow up. I think this is not this two are not the ones that are gonna help me out. But these ones, there you go. Yeah, these ones. Once we're there, eyebrow center, save post, and I'm gonna go down. Let me this guy get in green. There we go. There you go. All right. So now let's say post. And I'm gonna go and do my jaw. So show save. I'm gonna go back here. It's my new one. Okay. Jaw root. Just this one. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this guy's mouth. Right there. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
suppose okay I'm gonna go to save and then draw left so um oops, okay. something like this it's fine save the post Shift save go back and this and it down all right yeah okay Chip save we're almost there upper lip up okay so I, I gotta go back to my lens shapes my blend shapes. And this pretty much, uh, as you guys uh, uh, know, is that this can be applied to any sort of character. As long as your character has a face, I don't know, an animal, an alien, or any sort of human being. Uh, the important part is that this, uh, this model can actually have the blend shapes that Facebook is asking. To. So you can have a smooth performance. Of course, when you're doing a real-time uh, performance, there are a few tweaks that you need to do uh, in order to um, make it better. Uh, maybe your character lacks of uh, blend shapes, so you need to go back to Maya or Motion Builder and fix that little issue. Uh, okay, so I'm going to lift up. So I'm going to go back to my mouth, there's my lips, there's my mouth, and I'm going to just explore. Which ones? Okay, mouth, lips. Okay, there it is. Okay. Lips, pimple. There you go. Okay. So upper, let's just tap one, and save post. The thumb left and the thumb right. Upper lip up. It's in the right. Lower. Okay. Right. Set pose. Right. Uh, over the down. Now, uh, since I've already uh, gone through this, uh, my character does not really um, hold the blend shapes of the mouth stretch and the mouth narrow. You can just go like that, or uh, you can go ahead and put in a uh, uh, the blend shape. Right now, the character itself has the uh, blend shape of mouth widen, which is this one, yeah. But uh, face where is asking for left and right. Uh, in this case, it would be pretty much go back again to Motion Builder uh, or Maya app and try to add those um, those blend shapes. So I'm just gonna leave these for now. The uh, mouth stretch and the mouth narrow. I'm gonna jump into the smile right here. Can miss it. Smile, okay, there you go. And the left. Oh, this one's heavy. Okay. Smile. Mm -hmm. Save post. And should I say? Smile right. How long is there, people? Also, as well, uh, the naming of the blend shapes. I'm pretty sure that uh, you've heard it hundreds, if not thousands of times. But it's very important to name the blend shapes properly. If not, you're going to give yourself hell. Go 
Right, and set the post. Right. Mount scrunch. I think that the mount scrunch is when you're like, you know, moving lips to the sides. And that one, I think, is in small upper. That's this one. Oh, there you go. Mouth L and mouth R. Like that. Mouth scrunch. Save the post. Right. Let's get the right one now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, the thing that it's going to ask you is the phonomes, which is uh, very important when it's uh, on the whole. 3D animation, the phono. Um, so it's asking for the O, the SH, and the P. And I think enough up and enough down. After those are all said and done, we should be able to do a live performance. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead, dive in. Okay. So it, this is pretty much a combination between using blend shapes and using the joints. I'm just going to go ahead and try, let's look O, and I'm going to make my the jaw open a bit, right there, okay. Something like that, O. Alright, seems legit enough. Save the post. Go back to my intro. And SH. I think it's kind of like the old, but uh, being this one, I need to do my use of blend shape. Thankfully, <laughs> I've done this uh, dozens of times. Thankfully, I know how they look like. And it's, uh, it's H. I think it's also like showing the teeth a bit more. So I think I'm also going to use the jaw rotation. Just a bit. Okay. And it's there. I think I'm going to open these lips a bit more. Oh, God, again. Here's the tap. SH. I think. I'm going to open his mouth a bit. And I'm going to use the tide. Tide O. And I think I'm going to move the mouth a bit up as well. Something like that. Alright. Now that's there. Save the pose. Gonna go to my neutral. And the M the P. This guy has that blend shape requires you to uh, pretty much widen your your lips for it this. So what I'm gonna do is use the mouth widen for it. Okay. One size. Not too much. Mm, what what does this do? Okay. Mm, okay. A little bit of that. And there you go. See the post? Now, last two, show safe. I'm gonna go, it's gonna ask me for the mouth up. The mouth up is in here. Okay. Mouth up. Mm -hmm. Save the post. And then mouth 
down. Uh, all the last uh, expression set, which is head down, head up, and all, all, all of those, um, you don't really need to, I guess you need to put that if you're using a static camera. But since I'm using the faceware equipment, uh, I'm going to, um, well, my the full body performance is going to um, take in charge of that. So now that it's here, what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to go, it's all right, uh, I'm going to go in head and hit save and apply to camera. Okay, let me just show you, there we go. Just save and apply to camera. Okay, so uh, now that I've done that, uh, in my inspector, the uh, Alec game object, of course, it already has the profile that I created, Alec1. Uh, of course, the, the profile can be changed. In this case, I would go ahead and go back to my uh, Notion Builder and add those blend shapes. But for the sake of demonstration, we're going to work with this. Um, like I said before, the by default, it comes a different uh, server port and the host name of the server. I already changed that, uh, which is uh, this one, and the port. So we're going to open the new software, uh, Faceware Studio in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. You can see that Faceware Studio is showing you a variety of new, uh, new uh, tools that you can use. Maybe I'm going to just make my camera just a bit uh, small so you guys can see everything um, all right so we can see that the firstly that the port is different has a 500 in my unity and there is a few other settings that we're going to play with we already got the uh, a a preview of the model picture, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and start with my camera here. that I'm using this one. Here we go. All right. Again, same rules apply. You need to make sure that you have the camera in a good angle and you have a proper light. Well, lighting your face, of course. Uh, Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and the. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back. Okay. I'm going to go back to my camera feed. Okay. Now, I'm going to use, oh, there you go, camera, to make sure that it's properly placed in front of my face. Start on the, uh, the light, of course. I'm using a professional head cam, the minute my rotation is uh, made. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. All right. Optimize for real time. And something like this. 
Now that I'm there, I should go and do the calibrate intro pose. So f for that, I need to, you know, not show any emotion. So you can see it also as well, it shows a, a different grade from the live server, and it seems like it's doing a fantastic job with the lips, of course. Now that it's there, what we're going to do is going to go to screen panel and make sure that our stream is streaming to, um, okay, since I moved it a bit, I'm going to go. Okay, uh, I'm going to go stream client, okay. and I'm going to start tweaking on my this menu, of course. Uh, so, just to give you a quick example of this, uh, I can pretty much tweak um, my jaw. I, I can pretty much tell Facewear how open I want the jaw to be. So, if I just, you know, open the jaw, I can go to my blend shape, which is the jaw, right there. There we go. I can do this, and then I can. You guys can see. I can do that. So in order to have a real-time performance, it's, it's a matter of try and error. A combination of these. Once you have a, a, the perfect combination uh, all set up for your character or your actor to perform, you should have a really uh, um, smooth performance going on. But right now, it's doing a really great job with the Facebook Studio. So now that it's here, what we're going to do is uh, stream to client, which is fine. Port, it's 802. And then we're back to go back to here, and I'm going to change my robber port from 500 to 802. Oh, right. 802. There we go. All right. Now that it's there, I'm going to, again, put them and this guy on there. Would you like to sit back up? Yes, please. And I'm going to put him this on the left and this on the right. Okay. Okay, so what's going to happen here is I'm just going to go and hit the play button. There you go, guys. It's moving. You know, you can go left, right, up, down. Move the mouth a bit. And you should be able. With this already set up, you can see them like smiling. <laughs> it's a bit weird. <laughs> so I guess I would have to go back to my blend shapes and kind of adjust that. So now that it's there, with this uh, performance going on, with the right configuration over here, and with, with the correct blend shapes on Unity, plus the entire uh, um, motion capture equipment, you know, not only the face, but also well, the body, you should have yourself a full range of motion capture. But I think I'm going to cover that in another video. Uh, so, yeah, uh, now that it's here, I can just go back into um, just stop the game. Okay. 
And I can also as well, uh, Unity gives me the, um, the option of recording a facial animation. Uh, I've tried that, but I would recommend to use third-party software such as uh, Motion Builder, Maya, uh, or even Blender. I mean, uh, but yeah, I think this, those will be topics for another another uh, video. Okay, so yeah, I think. Okay, just go back here, go back to my normal screen. And I'm gonna <laughs> turn off this. That's fine. I already need one. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this. Turn it off. Picture goes back to its neutral pose. Turn off this. Okay. All right. Very well. So yeah. Well, uh, I think we are at the ending of our demonstration. I don't know if you guys. Uh, okay, so this is the part when you guys we got to our Q and A. Of course, um, any questions, any uh, any comments regarding this uh, project, this demonstration? Okay, I'm seeing that there is a comment. Why does it not follow what you are saying? Well, it's the lips, pretty much, it's because it needs more work on the blend shapes of the lips. And also, as well, it, it's like a combination between the, the software, or Facebook Studio, and also, as well, the blend shapes that you are having uh, in your character. Of course, uh, once recorded your facial performance, uh, you would go and use the face, uh, this software, the face first offering you a retargeter. Um, in that process, you have all the time in the world to pretty much uh, refine the movement of your lips, of course. Um, and yeah. Once the uh, face performance is ready, you can go back into the engine and bring on the entirety of your animation, which is the you know, full range of motion capture. Are there any uh, questions or comments, requests about this? I guess also as well, uh, very important. Uh, I mean, helps me a lot. Uh, it's to, you know, hit the subscribe button, like it, share it. Share is the most important thing. You never know the guy or the individual is interested in this, so you can like, hey, there is this guy on YouTube doing this content. A good starting point for you. Yeah, you're welcome, my sir. Uh, how much is the uh, device for the ball cap? Well, I don't know, like, the, uh, exactly how much, but I can tell you that it, it wasn't, wasn't cheap. Um, the institution that I'm from has this equipment, and uh, you know I'm just giving it a use, you know, of course. And well, are there any questions from anyone else? Poor people.
one thing that you can do also uh, to help me out, um, follow me on my uh, social medias. Uh, follow the channel. I'm going to post a lot of uh, stuff about this, a lot of um, content that focuses on motion capture. It's really exciting. I have lots of plans for this. It's just a matter of subscribing, liking, sharing. You know the drill, of course. You guys, you know, you can contact me uh, on my social medias. I think I'm going to leave it down on the comment section of this video so you can, like, stay sharp for it. And uh, with anything else, uh, I think this would be it. Thank you for watching my live stream. I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you find this useful. Um, share it again. No, it's not like a broken record now. But share it. You never know who uh, maybe your friend or yourself are interested in doing this. And... For anything else regarding the uh, motion capture or 3D animation, I am here, Alec, Moon Man, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Take care, be well, and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Mr. Put, and Mr.